well known throughout the Latino community. Not because if there's anything unique about it, it's not something special about it, but because it's not special. Everybody knows what happened in the Latino community. It all started after work one day when the mother and daughter were heading home from work. And a routine traffic stop would reveal that the mother does not have papers. Eventually, it would let her go, but it would come back for her. She would end up arresting her and arresting the father as well. Detaining them for months on end, and eventually would lead to her to the both of them being deported and leaving her family stranded in America. This is common practice in America, and it needs to stop. And today, I'm going to be talking about the problem of deportation. The, of the causes of deportation and the effects on the people of the, the Latino community. What people don't realize is that they're deporting families. That's the main problem. They don't see us as whole families. They don't see us as a brother, as a sister, as a mother, or a father. They don't see us struggling. They don't see us crying for one another. And they don't see us wishing that they, we had one more chance. What they see is thugs. They see criminals. They see they see us as a problem. And according to Tim Rogers in a Fusion article published January 7, 2016, Obama has deported more than 2.6 million people. That's 23% more than Bush. We have an entire platform of, of people just wishing that we were gone. They want to build a wall to keep us out. They want to deport us. And if that's not a problem, I don't see what is. What caused this is not just Trump. He's just what happens afterwards. The real cause is the Southern strategy of the 60s. The Republican Party decided to exploit the deep, deep seed of racism within the Southern white man. And they exploited it. They used propaganda to keep it going. And they showed everybody that we are the problem, the minority, when in reality we're not. And the person who was in on it is Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch is the owner of Fox News. And it keeps going to this day. He shows all this propaganda on his TV show, hiring people like Bill O'Reilly to show that minorities are the problem. And it's not even that long ago that Bill O'Reilly said that Mexicans are racist and they are criminals. According, and according to alternate media article, The Science of Fox News, it shows that the Fox viewer, the average Fox viewer, still believes all this propaganda that's being spewed onto them. When asked four questions about domestic question about domestic issues, Fox News viewers were the worst on every single one of them. They have, on average, 1.04 answers. That's worse than people who don't even watch the news because they don't. They're not. They're not less informed than anybody else. They're misinformed. They're fed all this propaganda and they feed off of it, and they think they're really smart for doing it. And so the effects eventually lead to harder life for every single person in the Latino community. They have to worry about their parents being deported, brother or sister. They have to worry about their parents. And sometimes when they are deported, they have to take up that mantle that they have. They either have to raise their, their siblings. They have to provide for the family. And that's not the way to make, make themselves successful. They have to drop out of school. And eventually, that just leads to people not being able to live the American dream. They, cry over their loved ones and they have psychological effects. They're not able to see their parents every single day like you and me. And many of them are considered criminals. And so this leads to the image of the Latino community. We feel microaggression. In every sing in everyday talk, people sometimes include these lines like your English is so good, as if they expect it not to be. They expect us to be ill misinformed, miseducated, they expect us to be criminals. And this, according to Psychological Benefits article, published September 26, 2013, stated that 90% of participants experienced microaggression, and it led to mental illnesses like depression. That was in 2013, 90%. Imagine 2016 when there's Trump running on that same platform, saying it every single day that you should be deported. That your family should be deported. You shouldn't be ha you shouldn't have the right to see your family every single day. And so today I talked about the problem of deportation, the destruction of the Latino image, the cause obviously the Southern strategy and the continuum of the Southern strategy, and the effects of the mental harm, the financial harm, the 
the physical harm of the people who were deported. And as such, his family, they ended up being broken apart. The youngest two siblings ended up being deported along with their parents, and the oldest two children ended up living in America, trying to make something of their lives, trying to make themselves great again, trying to make America great again.